my god! Bruh. You. Get the f out of here. Are you f***ing serious? Are you f Jordan Cena. We need your help. Showtime. Good day, everyone. It's your boy. Jordan CS No here, back with another cringy ass video on the dark web. And oh boy, do I have a pretty special video for you today. Because if you haven't heard the very good news, a PC port of Spider Man PS4 was announced its state of play and is set to release August 12th this year, which I'm honestly quite excited for as I have played a little bit of Spider-Man on PS4, but I never really felt compelled to go out of my way to play it when, you know, I've got a million other games to play on PC. But I guess this now does give me an excuse to actually sit down and play the game, so maybe I'll set aside some cash to buy the game when it releases on Steam. Now, although the game does look very good and all of that, I'd have to say easily the best part about this is the Sony fanboys losing their shit over it. There is no doubt about that, mainly because A, it's funny, and B, it might actually pay me enough so I can buy the game. Which is always an upside, but anyway, in today's video, we're gonna be watching a complete meltdown from the amazing Lucas in his state of play reaction over Spider-Man being announced to release on PC. Because, oh boy, it's pretty funny. Like, the dude genuinely loses his shit over it. But before we begin this video, make sure to super thanks this video- Nah, I'm just fucking kidding. I'm not gonna e-bag for money. Just play the goddamn video. <gasps> Sacrificing <gasps> so much and- <laughs> If you want to change the world- Let's go! You have to be the Spider-Man who can make the hardest decision. Wait, what are they doing? What are they showing me? You know, I'm just gonna say it's quite funny how the amazing Lucas probably thought that this was a trailer for the second Spider-Man game at first, only to quickly realize that it's his worst nightmare. More people being able to play a video game. You know, in all honesty, these are kind of fun times to be a commentary YouTuber. I mean, especially now with the influx of Sony Pony Spider-Man Salt, so, you know, expect more videos. Wait, what are they showing me? I mean, it kind of said at the start of the trailer. They're showing you in-game cinematics captured on PC. Hi there, Editor Jordan here, just to remind you that I forgot that Lucas can't read. This better not be what I think it's gonna be. Oh no, Lucas, they're just playing the trailer for Spider-Man PS4 with recorded on PC at the beginning of it. Just cause it's funny. Oh my god! Fuck you! Get the fuck out of here! Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? No, they're just saying coming to PC because it's funny. <laughs> Bruh, it's honestly quite funny that he's this fucking triggered by more people getting to play a game. Like, bro, imagine being this goddamn sad. Yo, fuck PlayStation! Don't worry, Lucas. We're all aware that you want to. Fuck this nonsense! You're bringing that shit to PC? Yeah, they are. Go fucking cry about it, pussy. Are you fucking serious? What? Yo, what? What the fuck is this? Fuck the stream, bro. We're about to end this stream. My god, it gets better. The dude literally wanted to end the stream so that he could go cry about Spider-Man being released on PC. God damn it. Like, dude, chill out, man. Oh no, more people get to play a game. And I can no longer use Spider-Man as a reference in my 20-page dipshit Reddit essays about why PlayStation is better than PC and Xbox that no one fucking reads. Cry me a goddamn river. Bro, what the fuck are you talking about? You're bringing it to PC. Exactly what it sounds like. They're bringing it to PC. What the fu- Why the fuck do I have my PlayStation then? I don't know, maybe because, get this, you enjoy playing on PlayStation. It's honestly quite funny seeing these dudes that just fanboy for Sony basically admit every time an exclusive gets released to PC that they wouldn't own a PlayStation unless they were fucking forced to. I understand that it's been years, but that's not the fucking point. 
The point is that y'all said it was not coming to PC. Y'all said it wasn't coming to Xbox. You know, in all honesty, maybe Lucas should have ended the stream. I mean, my guy, you need to chill, man. Like, maybe just pause the stream, you know, take some deep breaths, play some games on your PS5. I don't know, go hug that Jim Ryan body pillow some more, and then come back to it. Bro, I was like, hold up. I know they're not do- Bro, get the fuck out of here. Shut the fuck up, everyone in the chat. Shut the fuck up. Bro, you just know that he's getting fucking roasted in the chat. Because he probably thought for years that Spider-Man was never gonna come to PC. And now he's having a midlife crisis because it is. Honestly, I didn't really say his L shitter. I don't want to hear this stupid nonsense. What the fuck was that? Spider-Man on PC, do you want me to spell it for you? I mean, I'll do it. S-P- Are you serious? No. Are you fucking serious? Why not just have it on, like, your own Game Pass thing if you're gonna do that? Because they can make more money putting it on PC. It's really just simple mathematics. When did it come out? It came out- Oh, damn, it came out in 2018? Y'all waited four years for it to come out to PC? I mean, I wouldn't really call it a wait since we had other shit to play in the time that we were waiting. But sure. I mean, seriously though, I can already see where this is going. Eh. Eh. There are like 10 sex jokes I really want to make right now. Four years for a game? I mean, sure, but, you know, the key difference between PlayStation fanboys and PC gamers is that PC gamers are aware of the fact that Sony and Microsoft aren't the only game developers out there. You all waited four years to come out to PC instead of getting a fucking PS4 or PS5. I mean, A, I had like 10 other games to play, so it was barely even a wait. B, I saved $400. And C, I kinda don't really care. Arkham Games better. That's wild, bro. I wonder if Lucas genuinely thinks that Sony are the only company that makes semi-decent games. On the topic of other games though, it's time for the next installment of Jordan Recommends Random Indie Games in the middle of his video. I did it a while ago in my Adam Ruins Everything video, and now I'm doing it again. First up is The Messenger, a pretty good 2D action platformer and also Metroidvania game. It's very fast paced, it's a lot of fun. As well, you can get it on pretty much every single platform or launcher. So yeah, go pick it up, it goes for about $28 on Steam. Next up is Ruiner, which is kind of like a cyberpunk action shooter style game. It's very fun. I think you will very much like it if you like games like Hotline Miami. $28 on Steam. Next up is Blasphemous, which is a Souls-like 2D action platformer. And honestly, it is quite fun. I really enjoyed it, really enjoyed the world. I think if you do like Metroidvanias and, I guess, Dark Souls games, you will probably like Blasphemous. So yeah, $28 on Steam. Fuck, what is it with indie developers? and the $28 price point. Although, to be honest with you, that's a smart move. So now that I'm thinking about it, that's a smart ass move. Whoa, Lucas is thinking? Gee, that's a fucking first. Because Spider-Man 2 is coming out. That's your old life. And then releasing uh, God of War, then releasing God of War on the PC, it actually caused uh, uh, PlayStation 5 sales to actually skyrocket. Okay, I just did a bit of a Google search and I can't really find any evidence to support this. I mean, I did find this DualShockers article, which is probably where Lucas is getting his information from, but their source is literally just one tweet and a bunch of other tweets that the writer says that they saw, which isn't really good journalism, considering there are no primary or secondary sources, and their only source is a bunch of random people on Twitter, only one of which we can see. So that's actually a smart move on on, uh, on Sony. Because these mofos, these mofos are gonna be playing Spider-Man, and then Spider-Man 2 is gonna be coming out next year. And we can probably just wait for Spider-Man 2 to come out. Like, there's heaps of games to play on PC, so four years, which let's just face it, it's probably gonna be shorter. It won't even be that long of a wait. Like, I feel like these fanboys just don't understand how abundant of a resource games on PC are. I saw that. They don't deserve Spider-Man, bro. Well, cry about it. Hey, you know the freaking PC neckbeards are all excited. Oh, look, all the, the, the PlayStation people are coping. Ma! 
I mean, I'm just gonna say thanks, Lucas, for proving literally what I was just about to say. Man, these videos really do write themselves. I mean, at this point, I could just play the clips of the amazing Lucas's video, and they would criticize themselves for me. I could literally replace myself with a cardboard cutout of Luke Skywalker, and it wouldn't even matter. I'm curious as far as what the mods are gonna be. Alright, I'm just gonna say what Lucas is thinking here. I want someone to mod the Spider-Man underwear suit so that there's no underwear, and so that you can see his dick. And I want the physics of Spider-Man's genitalia to look absolutely fucking flawless as I swing around the city. That better be in the game, otherwise I'm not getting it. At least we know the, the mods are gonna be insane. Because that's what PC is good for. That's the only thing they're good for. That and running PlayStation games better than PlayStation does. I'm just saying, how lonely do you have to be to be playing Spider-Man PS4 2018 game in 2022? I mean, I don't really know what that has to do with loneliness, but I gotta ask. How much of a loser do you have to be to be making videos like this and getting this upset? over more people being able to play a game. I mean, the amazing Lucas, more like the amazing loser. Ha 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 ha! When we're on the cusp of the sequel. What's wrong with people playing the predecessor to a game when the sequel's been announced? Like, hey, did you go back and play? Did you go back and play an old installment in a game series or franchise? Because maybe you thought it was a fun game and wanted to replay it? Boy, do I have news for you. You're a fucking loser. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I think that, I mean, I think after that, most of the gaming community would have just become losers. I'm happy for PC fans. I mean, I know some of them probably are too big to where they can't get out of the house or their basement. I mean, Amazon exists. I hope Lucas does realize that not every PC gamer is Ace of Thorn. You know, their mom's basement to probably go to the store to get a PS4 or PS5. I wonder if Lucas has heard of PC case gear, or eBay, or Amazon, or literally any online store that you can get things delivered from. We want to be inclusive to everyone, right? We want to be inclusive to everyone, despite their handicaps. Exactly, they want to be inclusive to everyone, including Lucas with his mental handicap. Happy for you PC neckbeards. I'm happy for you guys. Thank you, Lucas. I'm glad you are. Anyway, there's not really anything else I can get out of this, so that's all for today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications, join the Jordan Ceno army, follow me on Twitter, at JordanCSNo, subscribe to my second channel, JordanCS2. Links to both of those will be in the description. Please don't send any hate over to the amazing Lucas. It is really unneeded. But that's all for today's video. So until the next one, piss off, you wanker.